Hey everybody, say hi to our friend Kevin. Kevin loves making pottery, singing karaoke, and meeting new people. But what would happen if Kevin was sucked into a black hole? Well, let's start from the beginning. Of time. Black holes have been around since the dawn of the universe, occurring when massive stars, even bigger than our sun, die and collapse in on themselves. When all that mass contracts into a tiny singular point, a black hole is born. Even the late great Harry Houdini couldn't escape a black hole's pull. In fact, the gravity of a black hole is so strong, light itself can't escape. So when you're looking at one, all you see is a black hole. Hence the term black hole. You get it? Yay, we're learning! The smallest black hole is probably the size of an atom. Although it has the mass of a mountain, the biggest are known as supermassive black holes, and you don't have to look too far to find them. We actually have one at the center of the Milky Way, our galaxy, not the chocolate bar, called Sagittarius A that is estimated to be the size of a couple million Earths. The intense gravitational pull of a black hole tends to cause more objects to be pulled into it, which causes it to keep growing and growing. Pretty ominous, no? Sounds like it's just a matter of time before you're swallowed up in a freak black hole accident. <laughs> Huh, Kevin? Well, actually no. The odds of that are incredibly slim. Earth has no black holes remotely close to it, and the sun itself actually isn't a big enough star to become a black hole if it were to collapse. Even if it did, a black hole with the same mass as our sun would have the same gravitational pull, so our solar system would keep orbiting as usual. I'll buy it a little colder and darker. Sun, we love you. Please never leave. But for the sake of argument, let's say a black hole shows up on Kevin's doorstep tomorrow. What would happen? Well, it kind of depends on the size of the black hole. Interestingly enough, the smaller the hole, the worse your fate. In this case, gravity would be much stronger at his feet than at his head, leading to what we like to call a noodleification of the body. If he's lucky, he'll fall into a massive black hole like Sagittarius A instead, with a large enough gravity field that noodleification doesn't occur. Now, what happens with a black hole like that is somewhat contentious among scientists. Some think Kevin would be burnt to a crisp upon passing the event horizon, the place at the edge of a black hole where the gravity is just strong enough to pull light in. Others think he'd pass through safe and unharmed. That is, until he reached the point of singularity, where he'd be crushed like a bug at a picnic. Interestingly, some scientists think that both realities would occur at the same time, that to an observer outside of the event horizon, Kevin would be nothing but ashes, but to yourself, on the inside, he'd be peachy perfect. This is because for either of the two outcomes to occur, a fundamental law of physics, either the laws of quantum mechanics or the laws of general relativity, must be broken. And that's a major scientific no-no. However, black holes honestly don't seem to care too much for the laws of physics, as their gravitational pull is so strong it warps the space-time continuum itself. The deeper Kevin goes into a black hole, the less space and time make sense. So the laws of physics, which need space and time to function, cease to exist, and to experience that would likely be too much for Kevin's poor brain to handle. So what would happen if Kevin were to be sucked into a black hole? All we can say for sure is that, if it's small enough, he'd be turned into a human noodle, aka a hoodle, or Newman. Take your pick, Kev. Either way, it's probably not going to be a good time.